Yes, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you all for listening and analyze it. Do not take it on the other side. I am not a terrorist and I am not a murderer. I am not none sort of that, but I'm a man who wants justice, not for myself, but for every single human being. Not only the other around the world, too. I was made to understand a lawyer had a press conference. A conference with a certain person whose name I will not mention, but I can do it, and said, your, your, Mr. Karaya is threatening lawyers, threatening judges, and when he come back to Guyana, he will be locked up. Is Mr. Karaya on drugs, LSD, coke, marijuana? Mr. Karaya is not threatening anybody. All he's saying, give him justice and check his case out. And if I pay a lawyer to represent me, and he walk in and walk out, did he represent me or he robbed me too? Answer me. Why are we lacking up the little black boy by the name of R.B. And, and Davis for pickpocket and robbing somebody, but we can't lock up the lawyer. Or the judges who take inside. Or, or who make backdoor deal to harass innocent people. How many innocent people have committed suicide because they couldn't fight the system? Well, I tell you what. History has proven that sometimes one man can change the world. This world is too clustered with a lot of darkness. In Haiti, there were changes. Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, there were changes. In Grenada, there were changes. And in Cuba, right now, there's changes. And by the 15th of, of, of June, there'll be a lot more changes in the world. That is why America went to the poll and elected a businessman named Donald J. Trump. Determination, justification, and truth. And you black people in Guyana, you know you don't like white people because of slavery. And you Indian don't like nobody, not even your own brother and sister. All you all like is money, popularity, and fame. You all are more corrupt than the devil himself is running from you all. So all I want you all to know, I didn't threaten judges. I didn't threaten lawyers. I am speaking on behalf of justice. Did not have to remove PPP because they were unjust to the nation. Did not David Granger, Joseph Arman, and other speakers before the win promise changes and said they're going to jail them? How do you think you get into power? And I hope, you know, what goes around comes around. So I'm looking for justice. And for you killers out there who take few dollars to kill innocent people, when these corrupt politicians get arrested, and judges and lawyers, they're going to call your name. You are not going to like the outcome. Because if you kill a man-child, he will have the right to kill yours. If you kill his father, they will have the right to kill your own. If you kill their mother, they will have a right to kill your own too. But why are we going to do all this killing when we are misled by corrupt judges, politicians, lawyers, and people that we trust to give us justice? Guyana Supreme Court is the biggest injustice place they got in the registrar. Plus the politician. A lot of you are corrupt. But you know something? A lot of you are also old. Maybe you are senile. And I am not apologizing to this. But within your heart or your mind, I hope God will speak to you and let you know the truth. I want justice. You want independence. And for you black people in India, in Guyana and elsewhere, out of Africa and India, you did not get independence. You get a country don't belong to you, and you accept it and call yourself prime minister and president. And guess what? You're locking up people for, for collecting stolen article or other people stolen property. But you got a country, and you call in yourself legality. That is also stolen. You got Africa and India and China and Europe. So the country belongs to our Indian. Any part. So don't tell me about America. And don't tell me about Canada. Because you cannot answer the course when the Lord ready for them. On this day called Sunday, the day when Jesus resurrected from his death, I hope this revelation will resurrect your fucking mind, not your heart, because your heart is a pump. You corrupt fucking bastards, you hypocrites, you fucking thieves. It's coming from me, and remember, fuck is not a curse, figure of speech. A curse is if I wish you bad. Show me in the Bible where Jesus and God say fuck you. Or show me in the English dictionary 
a piston fox a cylinder, you learned ladies and gentlemen, you fucking hypocrites. Time is coming for all of you. You can enjoy it now. I'm coming. Make my cross on my day. I put my head in a plate like John the Baptist. My ghost will be in your fucking living room. Not afraid of y'all. Y'all are fucking thieves. I want the truth. So here I call upon you, David Granger, and, the, and your cabinet to look into this case carefully. I want justice. Lock up the judge and the lawyers and the accusers. Lock them up and let Guyana be a place to be reckoned with in the world for humanity. Stop putting out the Venezuelans and others if they don't break your law by robbing, raping, and killing. Because Guyanese Indians have ruined Guyana reputation. 100 and something thousand are in Venezuela. 60 something thousand are in Suriname. They produce children. In Venezuela, 52,000 children born from Guyanese parents who trained that land is mine. And their parents telling them what happened to them and the Bonham government, whether truth or lie, that's what they're coming with. Suriname got about 30 something thousand children born from Guyanese parents. Let us not turn our country into a sandwich. Let's save it. Thank you.